Welcome to Dude RV. You got here just in time because it's Friday. It's time for another episode of Friday's Finds. And this week we have a new sponsor, and that is Udder Fun. Hope I'm pronouncing that that correctly. Udder Fun. I, I pronounce it with a Texas drawl. Udder Fun. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> They have sent us a four-piece knife set to review, to use, to display, to cut up some stuff. So let me get this open and we'll take a look at it. I, I think Underfun has, has seen a number of my a number of my ribeye cooking episodes. That's why they sent me the knife. You'd think I'd have a knife out here for this task, but I don't. So this is a four piece knife set. It consists of an eight inch chef's knife, an eight inch slicing knife, a 12 inch meat fork, and a nine and a half inch meat tenderizer. Oh, that's very nice packaging. If, you, if you're looking for a gift, like a wedding gift, this would be awesome. There's an instruction manual for cleaning, attention, and warranty. We're gonna, we're gonna put this to use. So the plan is to cook something we've never cooked before and then you so that we can use all of these these tools these are really really nice i like this full tang so the tang goes up through the handle one of the things you, you have to be you have to think about when you're buying knives is particles bacteria getting in between the, the, the knife and the handle pieces. Got a good balance to them. They seem to be pretty sharp. We need to go cook something. Found a recipe for cooking. We're gonna use the Odor Fun knife set to cook a top round steak creation. I think it's stuffed topped round. Anyway, we're gonna adjourn to the kitchen. I'm going to enlist the help of Chef Yappy because she's so much better at that in the kitchen, at kitchen stuff than I am. She's, she's awesome. Cooking outside, that's my thing. Cooking inside, that's her thing. So we're gonna partner up and cook us some good old, some good old beef. So stay tuned, I'll be right back. We are in the kitchen and what we're gonna do to show off these knives from Underfund. Underfund to show off the Underfund knives. We're gonna do we're gonna eat something, we're gonna cook something that I've never had. This is the stuffed round steak. And it, it looks pretty simple and it, it does everything we need to do. We're gonna get to cut vegetables with this knife. We're gonna get to beat on some steak with the little tenderizer, and then we're gonna get to cut meat and serve it with the fork. And Yappy has volunteered to assist me in this so that I don't ruin her kitchen. I'm just hanging out in the background, dude. We're gonna start with pounding some meat. Instead of going with round steak, I went with top sirloin. The fork. If you're gonna eat pounded meat, it might as well be good cuts of pounded meat. To keep from making a big mess and getting yelled at, I'm gonna put 
stretch tight wrap over the meat before I start pounding. That works good. Very firm. That, I've driven a lot of nails in my life. I know how to swing a hammer. Yeah, that works good. So we need to have an onion cut up, diced up, which is where this blade comes into play. While I'm, while I'm beating my meat, supposed to be done in private. This is so, I cannot believe how nice, and this is just gliding. I mean, look at this. And then, I'm just going back over it, so I, have, I, I kind of did the quick, quick way, not quite the chef way. So now that the meat is pounded. And the onions are diced, now what? We need to chop up some. Bacon. Bacon, bacon, baby. Bacon and steak. It calls, the recipe calls for four pieces, but I, I think that's shortchanging the bacon lover. So we're using the meat cutting knife. Ooh. Wow. Now this bacon is still kind of frozen. Man, that's short. I can see why Yappy was happy about that. This will be another addition to the cooking with dude playlist all right now i gotta saute some bacon and then we'll move on to fixing the stuffing i should have broke out the cast iron skillet for this but We'll go with so let me cook the bacon. I'm not going to let you watch the bacon cook. This otherwise this video would be really too long. So I'm going to get the bacon cooked. And then we'll go on to making the rest of the stuffing. I'll be back. I promise. I'm not gonna abandon you. I'll turn that off. We have a bunch of cooked bacon. The instructions say using a slotted spoon. Because we're gonna reuse, we're gonna use that bacon fat in our stuffing. Mm, 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 it smells so good in here. You just have to imagine how good that smells. Now we saute some onions. We like these knives. These are awesome. Turn the heat back on. Mm. 
This is not exactly a, <laughs> a healthy dish. This is a good dish. I know what would really be good in here is a jalapeno. I don't think I have any. It's like a lot of fat. I'm just following the instructions. I may not have any fresh jalapenos, but I got some pickles. get them the jalapenos small so they spread out all the way across the both steaks. That's going to be good right there. Mm. So now we add the croutons and all the basically all the stuffing mix. And we're cheating. We're using a pre-packaged stuffing mix rather than adding all the individual ingredients said half a teaspoon. That's a little more than half a teaspoon. Some black pepper. Of course we don't need much of that because there was a lot of black pepper on that bacon. And we don't need a lot of salt because there's a lot of salt on that bacon. And now we mix the bacon back in. We can probably turn that off while we're mixing this all together. pre-packaged stuffing mix but we we have the same amount of stuffing as the croutons in the recipe all right we are all mixed up now I gotta move over to the other counter so we can start the the rolling process we're gonna roll some meat now Hold on. So I think we're going to end up with more stuffing than we have place to put it. So I couldn't find round steak yesterday when I was buying steak. This is why I went with the top sirloin, which is a comparable cut of meat. 
meaning it's a real fibrous, tough piece of meat that needs to be pounded into submission. That's what I get for buying groceries on the day after the 4th of July. The grocery store was 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 bare. It may work out. I don't know. But when we get to the rolling park, we'll know. You should always have some kitchen string. Oh, let me grease that pan for you. Yes, ma'am. Yummy. Even though I don't eat meat. Did you forget the tomato sauce? No, that goes later. Oh, okay. That's later in the, oh, well, yeah, in the process. That's the, the topping. Oh, okay. Got it. What's the temperature you need to be at? I don't know. You'll have to. Okay, I'll check. I'm trying to figure out how to roll this. You want me to do this? This up without spilling all the stuffing. Because I think I got more stuffing than I have steak. You're certainly not going to look like a picture. Well, yeah, you probably don't need all that. Hang on. Okay, that's good. Okay. Dude! Oh, you got it. Wait a minute. You want a, you got a toothpick or want some toothpicks? You want me to hold it? Yeah, you made worse. I told you I gave you extra stuff and teamwork. Don't flip it right. Flip it upside down. Yeah. Or should we leave it up? We're gonna need to cut the. We, yeah, I'm just getting that out of the way. When you're when you're cooking with string, you always want to cut that extra piece of string off because it'll act like a candle wick. <laughs> you took us outside of the range of the camera, Yappy. Sorry. Where's all my good bacon? We're gonna use it. Oh no. That's bacon abuse. <laughs> All right, here we go. <gasps> Last round. We need one more piece on there on the end. Yep. Hang on, let's see if we can get all the rest of this shoved back in there. Even Ziva's interested. Of course she's interested. It's bacon and beef, I mean. But it's not exactly a pretty. <laughs> Let's wash up and then we'll put it in the oven. So it's gonna go in the oven for 45 minutes at 350 degrees. We'll be back. Fire up anything? Well, according, according to the, the recipe, the next step is to remove it from the oven and Drizzle the tomato sauce over this. Oh, that goodness. And then we put it back in and cook it for another 45 minutes. But uncovered, right? Yes. It kind of, I guess it'll create a kind of a crispy tomato -y. It'll just saute it. It won't be crispy. Tomato sauce doesn't really get crispy. But it'll kind of, it'll go into it. There we go. All right. Back Ooh. at it. 
We'll be back in 45. We've pulled these beautiful stuffed steaks out of the oven. Mmm. It smells so good. It smells so very good. I don't know if I want to wa Waiting is the hardest part. Now we need to get the fat off the drippings so that we can make the gravy. So we're gonna accelerate the process and stick the, the juice in yeah, nice. the refrigerator so we can skim off that fat. We don't need any more fat than we are gonna get anyway. We're fat enough. We're fat enough. All right, we are creating that that we's a singular we. That's Yappy's creating. No, not me. We're just finishing the job. Well, the the, the singular we is you're creating that into. Yeah, you're basically a, a making gravy. a roux, and then you're gonna make a kind of a gravy, kind of a mini gravy. And that's it. Then you pour it on top, and you're good and to go. Gravy. And then we're gonna we're gonna slice this, and then we're gonna saturate it in that good gravy. All right, all right, all right. We are ready to cut some meat. Cut, cut. That's what I said. Cut, okay. cut I some meat. <laughs> we are ready to cut this beautiful meat. Cut and plate. Oh man, this knife is so sharp. Either that or the steak is so tender. Look at that. <laughs> okay, so no serrated edges at all. I'm trying not to cut the aluminum foil. That's a string right there. You got it? I got it, babe. You know I got it, Yappy. This gravy is thick and I'm Oh, look at that. That is looking so good. Put a plate right there. The dogs are ready for some steak. The ratty pack is hungry. They must feed. Look at that. Oh man. It's, it's just a little over medium rare. Oh. Should we? Look at, look at that. Put some gravy on it, baby. Oh yes! All right, all right! This was Lisa. easy too. This was an easy so deal. Good. I can't wait to see how it turns out. We got a, Even lot, a lot of gravy left. Yeah, and that was easy. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, All right. Odor fun. Odor fun knives. Oh, I'm I'm loving them. This this has been this has been a really unique experience. Cooking something we've never done. I get to eat something I've never eaten. Okay. I, I can't I can't hang up. I can't I can't stop the video until you see me eat what we cooked. And I'm even going to use this great big beautiful knife. Woo! What is that? Is that rock? No, that's the tomato that's sauce. tomato. Let's see. Let's see. Be careful, it's hot. I know. We're looking at it. Mmm. Is it good? It is good. Is it? Mmm. Really? Mm -hmm. It really good. Yum! Well. I wish I ate meat. I'm glad you don't. <laughs> There's more for me. That's right. Mm -hmm. Woo! Mm -hmm. Of course, we added the healthy spinach, mushrooms, and onions, no oil, on the side. All right, babe, this, this, this is not a cooking show. We're talking about knives. All right, just say it. All right, so what are your thoughts on the older fun knife? These Yappy? are awesome. These are awesome. I love these knives. That knife cut that onion so easy, I couldn't believe it. How to do the steak? Oh, it's, yeah, it's, 
you can see I'm just. It just it's like butter. I'm not having to. No, it, I'd it, buy a set of these knives. These are awesome. I'd buy some steak knives. We need some new steak knives. We're gonna buy these. Mm. These are awesome. Wouldn't you agree? These are good. Good yeah. knives. Well worth the investment. Yeah, I definitely. These are a thumbs up. These are these are thumbs up. Yes. Good, good knife. You'll be happy to buy one. All right. If this is your first visit to Dude RV, I sure appreciate you stopping by. And if you've made it to this point, you must have enjoyed watching us create this beef fiasco. Right. Uh, thank you. I really appreciate you stopping by. I'd, I'd be honored if you consider clicking on the subscribe button. And for those of you who have been following along, ha, this is for you. Not I me. did this for you. It looks good. I did this for you. Oh man, thank you for that opportunity. And for my patrons. Woo! Not a mouthful, hold on just a minute. <laughs> thank you. Just say thank you. Thank you. It is most appreciated. You rock! All right, y'all come guys. back now, you hear?